Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. Um, the last tutorial we looked at um, drawing squares and rectangles. Um, and so to draw a rectangle or a square is the same method. Um, it's right, um, draw right and fill right. And you give it the xy coordinates here and the, the width and the height. Right, and so obviously if these two numbers are not the same you're not going to have a square um, you're going to have a rectangle right, to do an oval which is a circle but if these two it's got the same parameters if these two are not the same size it will be an oval shape but if they are the same size you'll have a circle and so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial so g dot We'll do fill oval, and there you've got your x, y, width, and height. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a different position. It's say 80, 80, so it's in a different position on the frame, and we can see it. And then we'll give it 30 each. Also, show you animation in this as well. We've got a, a method already in Java called repaint, but we'll repaint it and we'll change these numbers. We'll create um, integer variables, and these variables will change. And re every time we repaint, there'll be a different position in the screen. So, first, that's us drawing an awful. So, if I save and run the program. That's a circle we drew, and because it was fill, that is draw, it draws the outline of the square or the rectangle. And this is fill, so it's filled in the whole circle. And if it was an oval shape, then it would fill in the whole oval shape. Now, what I'll point out here, you see how the edges uh, are not perfect, jagged? That is because it is not 2D graphics. And I'll show you how to do that. It's quite simple. You just need to cast it as 2D and you'll have the perfect edging on the circle or the square, whatever you're doing. And that'll be 2D graphics. Now, what I'm going to show you here is we're going to change the colour again after. And we'll change it to red. So this awful is going to be the colour red and what happens in paint, it does one command at a time, does this first, second, third, fourth. So we've changed the colour to black and draw the, the square. Then we change it to red and draw the awful. It will fill the awful. And if I save and run the program, you can see it's now a red circle. Now to show you the difference in shape, if these this is a circle because this awful the the height and width is the same integer number. But if I made this say like, 300, save or run the program. Now it's an awful because this is 300 and that's 30, and I'll change it the opposite way around. So the width is going to be 300. and it's an awful. No, it's no longer a circle but it starts at this point here but I'll, I'll go back to the circle the xy coordinate starts at the top corner of the square now this circle is a square and it's exact this is 30 width and 30 um, height 30 and this is height 30 exact same as that and this is wood 30. Now the wood 30 comes in and cuts, cuts, cuts and goes to a circle and same here but the point the point that begins is not that middle bit actually takes the, the, the measurements of the square for a circle and starts at this top point here. Even though it's a circle it's started up somewhere up here and so that's the xy coordinates it will draw 
the circle from this point here and it'll end up drawing a circle so what we're going to do is we're going to change this fill to draw and the awful it's just one method it's not a circle method because an awful is a circle if you have the dement the, the the width and height the same and it's the same with the draw instead of filling in the whole circle red it's going to draw the outline of the circle red and you can see it's the same as up there so we've drawn it red so you've got two methods fill and draw let's see if there's anything else I can show you with this No, that what what I will point out is that we've got this set paint method in Java. Now what you'll notice is that we've not actually called paint in the main and we've not called paint in the constructor. Paint will automatically be called by the Java program. So that's the reason why we've not actually we've not actually shown we've not had actually had to go or um um paint here and and done paint from main because it's going to automatically get called itself and the same with the paint and we will go into this and do animation and so again thank you for your time and I hope that's been helpful